I mean, we were just sitting back, you know, <laughs> chopping it up, reminiscing about the good old days and all that. <laughs> you know, tracking my roots, where I came from and where I'm going. But like I say, man, always said it. It's not about the destination. It's all about the journey. What's up guys? Check out this mug that my fiance got me. It says rusty, but trusty. And it's got a FJ60 on there with some vintage Toyota color stripes. Today's video is about high output alternators. And I just got this from Mechman. Uh, it is a 250 amp alt. And you might be wondering why you need so much power. Well, I run electric fans on my LS swap on my 60 and they take a lot of juice. Uh, the way I received it and it was wired, it was uh, not done properly by the shop, so I'm redoing it, making sure it gets maximum power. When the fans turn on, you really see the voltmeter drop because they draw so much power. A lot of guys run mechanical fans for this reason. I think I can make these electrical work, but we'll see. Well, let's head on out to the backyard. Uh, we'll get this installed. I'll measure the volts before and after and see what it outputs and uh, see what this baby can do. There's a lot of high output alternator companies, but the reason I went with the Mechman was upon my research, I noticed in the forums they were super responsive when anyone had questions. The layout is very similar to the factory alternator, and I really like that it's made in the USA as well. The pulley is also the same diameter as stock, so I don't have to change the belt, which is really nice. Yep, you heard that right. That is not a 2F. So using my trusty multimeter, the stock GM alternator outputs about 13.7 volts. You know you're the luckiest guy in the world when your fiancé understands your crazy passions and hobbies and even brings you a drink out to you. Well, the smoke just settled down when you appeared And your face, it made my vision crystal clear If I miss my destination, that's alright with me Cause now there's somewhere else I've gotta be well, even if I met you in another life I still feel like I would end up with you You've got this kind of energy that makes me smile I just want to settle down with you My marigold My marigold and My marigold Your marigold In a modern way I never dance But with you I dance the night away If we keep our good intentions And sell what <coughs> we don't need The life will bring us more than we can be Even if I met you in another life Still feel like I would end up with you Got this kind of energy that makes me smile. I just wanna settle down with you. My marigold, your marigold, and my marigold, your marigold. Alright, guys, reattach the positive battery cables, and there's the new Mechman alternator all buttoned up plugged in let's see how this baby does hopefully everything's plugged back in buttoned up here we go you can see 
see the uh, speed height gauge voltmeter is at about right under 14. I always found that that read a little bit low. So let's see uh, what kind of volts we get. All right, guys. So this is just at idle. We're at about 14, 12, 13, 14.12 to 14.14. 14. So with the fans on, this is both fans on high. It's we're at about 14.0 now with both fans on high. I'm gonna turn on the headlights, let's see where it goes to. Drop down to about a 13, bounce back right up to about a 14. Not much change. I'm gonna turn on the, the interior fans, max. Still at 14, guys. Hey guys, one more upgrade that I highly suggest. It's called the Big Three upgrade. Uh, you can Google it, uh, look for it on Amazon. Essentially, it's making sure that all the ground wires have been beefed up, as well as the the positive wire from your alternator to your positive battery, ter battery terminal is also been upgraded. Uh, it's a pretty simple upgrade, but this makes sure that all the current is flowing with as minimal resistance as possible. It's kind of pointless to upgrade something like your alternator when the wires essentially are, are too small and it restricts the flow. Also, if you got too many amps uh, and power going through those wires that are too skinny, they can also heat up, which can also uh, be a fire hazard. So let me show you real quick what I've done. So I actually bought all these wires from Harbor Freight. Uh, this connects my uh, dual battery. So this is the starter, connects it to the house battery. Then you can see I've got this super beefy wire right here. This goes to the alternator. This one goes to the starter. Uh, this one goes to the little power distribution. And this is a body uh, or body ground right here. You see it going from the negative right to the body. And this one right here goes down uh, to the engine block. On this side, very similar, uh, this wire right here, uh, you follow, it goes right to the engine block as well. And from there, there's another wire that goes all the way to another body mount. This is probably overkill, but I had the wire, I figured why not. And um, the starter battery has a wire that's coming over here, goes to this ACR, and the other side of the ACR goes back to this house battery. So it's super thick. Um, I bought all these wires at Harbor Freight, probably spent less than uh, 60 bucks. Um, actually maybe more, more than, maybe like 70 bucks, but uh, definitely overkill. This is much more uh, upgraded over the big three, uh, but definitely a worthwhile upgrade. And I crimped the wires myself, got this stuff on uh, Amazon. Definitely highly suggest this. Uh, you don't want wires restricting any power if possible. So there you have it guys, the install of the Mechman alternator. Uh, this was the 250 amp high output. Uh, it was actually measured at the factory at actually 259 amps, so you get a little bit more for your money. Uh, this is the factory one. Um, overall, a perfect fit and finish, slotted right in. Um, didn't have to change the belt, so that was really nice and uh, it's putting out good power. Uh, with everything on, I'm still at about uh, 14 volts across the whole system. That's with fans, both fans on high output, um, the, AC, the AC fan on and headlights on. Um, everything else is kind of probably gonna be LED and uh, I'm gonna add the fridge eventually and all that. So this seems like it's, it's been a good uh, add-on modification. I'm gonna be adding extra lighting as well as my dual battery uh, fridge system in the back. So glad I, I made this upgrade. Um, I think sometimes with these high, high output al alternators, you might uh, feel like they don't have as much reliability, but I'll definitely keep you guys updated. Uh, till next time guys, happy cruising. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.